A year ago, this caterpillar's forebear wove itself into a cocoon and, as a pupa, transformed itself into something so utterly different that it's like changing a brick into a ballerina. The metamorphosis is a tad disappointing when it comes to color because the tusset moth that was born in May is, yes, delicate, but dull compared to her incarnation as a creature dressed for carnival. In fact, she's named a tussock moth for the white lashes growing in tufts from each end of the caterpillar. They are the spiky finishing touch on a snazzy samba costume. Truth is, though, that all that caterpillar wants to do is eat so she can grow and store enough energy to build a cocoon and pupate in turn. She's an eating machine. For crawling, these caterpillars have three sets of real legs in front. Those are black. And then on each segment behind that, a pair of flesh-colored pro legs, as they're called, that don't have joints but are just suction cups for holding the caterpillar in place. When she crawls, she looks like a train that knows how to samba. And she doesn't nail every beat, but she looks the part. Even to understanding that flamboyant feathers alone are not enough, you've also got to show some skin. As pupating time nears, the caterpillar dances more. What she wants is to make it to cocoon state without being eaten by a bird or, worse yet, colonized by a wasp. Some wasps lay 80 or so eggs on a caterpillar so that the hatchling wasps can consume the body fluids of their host. And caterpillars are averse to that fate, as you can see. And this one has, at least for the present, fought off her attacker. By tomorrow, she may be in a cocoon. <laughs>